Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger R22 backpack. Krieger have expanded their backpack range recently to give a better selection of options and this R22 is one of their new additions. Until quite recently, if you wanted a waterproof Krieger backpack, then you needed to go for their R30, which is pretty big and it's also pretty expensive. Then a year or so back, the Trail 18 came along, which has 12 litres of waterproof storage in a total of 18 litres. And now there's this R22, which gives 18 litres of waterproof storage out of its total capacity of 22 litres. That makes it a more usable day-to-day -day commuting backpack without needing the extra size and extra expense of the R30. So this one sits bang in the middle of Krieger's R20 and the R25, which have been very popular bags for a good while, but this one has the added benefit of a large waterproof section, which you don't get in those other two bags. So that waterproof section is the part that sits nearest your back. It uses Krieger's tried and trusted system of a replaceable waterproof lining bag. If that liner ever gets damaged, you can remove it and fit a new one in its place. It's just secured into the outer bag with Velcro around the top edge. When you put your stuff in the main compartment, it sits inside that waterproof liner and then a roll top closure over here means water can't get in through the top. They've stuck with their usual fastening method of having a clasp across the top of the rolled material to hold it down and then another clasp on each side. In my opinion, that's a better setup than you, when you get on some bags where you bring together these two ends of the roll and clip them together at the top. This method keeps the bag shorter and more compact. It's worked brilliantly on the Krieger R30 for over a decade, and I'm glad they've kept it on the R22. Krieger know these bags are used a lot for commuting, and they've left enough room in that main compartment to carry a 17-inch laptop if you need to. So that compartment makes up 18 litres of the total storage, and the other four litres are in this zip-up compartment on the back of the bag, which makes it easier to get to things you might want in a hurry. Just remember that pocket isn't waterproof, so avoid keeping anything in there that might be ruined if it gets wet, or you can put that stuff in something like a Ziploc bag on rainy days. The R22 has Krieger's compression strap setup, which makes it more versatile for carrying different sized loads. If you're not carrying much with you, you can pull those straps tight to keep the contents of the bag more settled on the inside, leaving less room for stuff to slosh around. And then when you need to carry more, you can just relax those straps and you've got the room to carry your extra stuff. So the final bits on the outside to point out are these loops, which allow you to attach a Krieger US5 or US10 dry pack and give yourself some extra capacity if you need it. That K logo on the top here is light reflective, so it helps car drivers who are following you pick you out on a dark night. And then to protect the base of the bag, it's made from a heavier duty cordura than the main section of the bag. On the front of the bag, you have the part that really makes Krieger bags stand out from other backpacks, and that's the quad lock harness. This R22 runs their quad lock light setup, which secures with one clasp across the chest rather than the two clasps you find on their bigger bags. So the key strength of quad lock in general is that it spreads the weight of the bag across your chest and your back rather than concentrating all of the load on the shoulders. These supporting straps open really widely and there's enough room to get a massive armor jacket sleeve through there if you need to. And then that harness clips together here across your sternum. You can adjust this harness so it fits you in pre-Christmas mode by tightening these straps just here, or in post-Christmas mode when you need a bit of extra room, you can relax those straps again to give you more room. You can also use this harness to change the height of the bag when it's sat on your back. Shortening the support straps makes the bag sit higher and lengthening them allows it to drop lower. So the support straps slide in and out of the main bag and they go between the outer material and the waterproof liner. So you feed more of the support inside the bag or pull more of it out, and then you adjust these straps here to suit that length. So these dots help you get it right, and they also help you keep the two straps at a matching length, which avoids having the bag sat wonky on your back. If you want the bag sat low on your back, pull these supports out from the bag and adjust the straps so that you've got three dots here showing inside this buckle. If you want the bag sat higher, you push the supports back through the main bag and adjust the straps so that this one dot shows through that buckle there. You can add extra storage onto this harness if you like with optional storage pouches from Krieger that attach to these plastic loops here. Those things can be really handy for stuff like wallets, cards, keys, or your phone, and it makes them really easy to get to. There's extra support if you want it from a waist belt here that clips up across the front. But if you find that a bit of a faff, you can really easily remove it and see how you get on without it. And then if it turns out you did need it after all, it's really easy to refit it. And then you just got to learn to deal with the increased faff. The section of the bag that sits against your back has two foam sections, which leaves this channel down the middle for air to circulate. 
and also the cell-like structure of the foam means air can move around to prevent too much overheating. As well as the option to clip stuff to the outside of the bag, you can modify the inside of the bag, which lets you carry water with you. You can put a hydro pack water bladder on the inside, which you tuck between the outer and the waterproof liner, and the tube from that then feeds through where the shoulder supports go, just here. They let you attach the tube to the harness, which means you can drink without taking your lid off if you want. So that's covered the main details of the Krieger R22, but there's one thing that always needs covering with a bag from Krieger, and that's the price. This bag costs £169 as we record this video, and there are plenty of waterproof rucksacks around that cost less than this one, plenty of them that cost considerably less, but there is something special about Krieger. I'd say very few people who've bought a Krieger have ever ended up regretting it, and most of them end up still having that bag a hell of a long time after they bought it. The build quality is incredibly high, the comfort as well, and a 10-year warranty shows just how confident Krieger are that this bag is going to last a long time. I think the R22 is a great addition to their range. It holds enough stuff for my daily essentials for my trip to work, and because it's waterproof, I don't have to worry about getting things like my laptop wet. I think Krieger really needed something like this in their range, and I'm very glad they've added it. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger R22 backpack, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.